Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis, where finally medicine can make sense. And today let's talk about treatment options for myelodysplastic syndrome or MDS. And let's get started. As you know from my previous video on MDS, MDS is a heterogeneous group of hematologic disorders. They are characterized by cytopenia such as anemia, thrombocytopenia, leukopenia called pancytopenia. Also there is a risk for transformation to acute myeloid leukemia. MDS can be low risk with marrow failure can be high risk with transformation to AML or can have myeloblasts and chromosomal abnormalities. The bone marrow can either be normal or hypercellular, most cases are like that, or hypocellular in a minority of cases. Please don't forget MDS, dysplasia plus cytopenia. And here is our famous slide of hematopoiesis. In myelodysplasia, there is dysplasia of the myeloid lineage. Also, I've told you before that MDS is an intermediate stage between normal and acute myeloid leukemia. That's why the entire purpose of treatment is try to delay this process of transformation into AML. Regarding the prognostic factors, we have favorable prognostic factors and unfavorable prognostic factors. Favorable include 5q deletion, 20q deletion. 5q is very high yield. Why? It's commoner in females. It has thrombocytosis with good prognosis. Also, it can be treated with a drug called lenalidomide, as we will discuss soon. Unfavorable prognosticators increased percentage of blast, increased number of cytopenias, increased age cytogenic abnormalities such as chromosome 7. The treatment options for myelodysplastic syndrome include supportive therapy, human growth factors, chemotherapy or stem cell transplant. So let's memorize them together. What is the last resort for treatment of any leukemia? Stem cell transplant. What is the name of the drugs that treat cancer? Chemotherapy. Okay. Now let's help support this bone marrow because it has pancytopenia. Let's boost the cell production. So let's use growth factors to help platelets, red blood cells and white blood cells mature. These are called growth factors. They help them grow. Also, if there is no hope, instead of telling the patient, go to hell, there is no hope for you, no, we offer supportive therapy, because as you know, doctors are compassionate human beings. Before we discuss the treatment options, here are some general rules. MDS treatment depends on the type of MDS, such as the classification, the WHO classification, prognosticators, we have favorable and unfavorable, age, health status, etc. If there are no symptoms and the lab is normal, no treatment. If the patient is elderly, probably MDS is incurable, offer supportive therapy. Instead of telling him, there is no hope for you. Stem cell transplant is the only method to potentially cure MDS. If there is 5q deletion, use lenalidomide, as I've told you. Advanced MDS with high chance of progressing to AML, give chemotherapy. Now let's discuss the four treatment options. First, supportive therapy offers symptomatic treatment. Okay, to treat anemia, give erythropoietin. Human growth factors that are similar to EPO, if they fail, give blood transfusion. But when we give blood transfusion, we risk iron overload. So stop the iron supplements and do iron chelation with drugs such as deferoxamine and the great oral drug called deferacerox. If you pay close attention, both of these drugs contain Fe, which is iron. Hello? 
For thrombocytopenia, give human growth factors for platelets. Platelet transfusion, if both of them fail, try aminocaproic acid. For leukopenia, give human growth factors for white blood cells. Second, the growth factors or human growth factors. Okay, growth factors for red blood cells to help treat anemia. Use epoetin, which is similar to erythropoietin, or darbipoietin alpha. To boost platelets, use romiplostim or l -trombo bag. Notice l -trombo bag. It helps the thrombocytes. And thrombocytes, of course, are the platelets. These agents are called thrombopoietin receptor agonists. There is a drug called oprilvucin. It's an interleukin 11. Interleukin? Interleukin? Raises platelet count after chemotherapy, but not an MDS. Okay, I've just mentioned it because it's very similar to the thrombopoietin receptor agonists. White blood cells, how to boost them? Granulocyte colony stimulating factor or granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor. Go back to my slide on hematopoiesis to know the difference between granulocytes and monocytes. Granulocyte colony stimulating factor such as pigfilgrastum. Next, anti cancer drugs called chemotherapy. We have four different categories. First, hypomethylating or demethylating agents. They remove methyl groups. They are pyrimidine analogs. They help MDS cells mature instead of being useless dysplastic ugly cells. Hypomethylating agents include azacitidine or decitabine. Side effects of these drugs? Early in the process, you can get cytopenias such as pancytopenia. Standard chemotherapy, we use it for high-risk MDS patients, such as citarabine, you can add idorubicin or donorubicin. Side effects of citarabine, it trashes your brain, giving you balance problems, dizziness, etc. Idorubicin and donorubicin, they treat your heart miserably. They can lead to cardiomyopathy. Immunomodulating agents such as lenalidomide for the 5q deletion subtype of MDS. Side effects of lenalidomide, deep vein thrombosis and it's teratogenic. If you recall, there's a drug called thalidomide, used to treat multiple myeloma sometimes. Thalidomide is a teratogenic. Thalidomide, lenalidomide, both of them are teratogenic. Makes sense. Last, we have immunosuppressants. They are used for the hypocellular bone marrow in the rare cases of MDS, because most of the time the bone marrow is either normal or hypercellular. In the minority of cases, it's hypocellular. In these cases, use immunosuppressants, such as antithymocyte globulin, ATG, or cyclosporin, of course, cyclosporin trashes your kidney. Fourth, stem cell transplant. Let's be honest, it's the only potential cure for myelodysplasia. So how do we do stem cell transplant? First, we destroy the bone marrow, then we give the patient stem cells. So first, destroy the bone marrow with chemotherapy or radiation. Side effects, of course, pancytopenia. Both chemotherapy and radiation can lead to cytopenias. Then we give the patient stem cells so the bone marrow is happy because these stem cells are hematopoietic. They are capable of producing new blood cells. There is a risk here of graft versus host disease. What is that? This is the question of the day. Please let me know down in the comment section. Okie dokie, let's summarize. Treatment options for MDS are four. Supportive, human growth factor, chemotherapy, or stem cell transplant. General rules, no symptoms, no treatment. Elderly patient, supportive therapy only. Stem cell transplant is the only method to cure MDS. If there is 5Q dilation, use lenalidomide. Don't forget this is teratogenic. Advanced MDS with a high probability of progressing to AML 
please give chemotherapy. And now, here's a challenge for you. Please help me reach 25,000 subscribers and Medicosis will start a new series. We will launch a poll where you can vote which subjects of these would you like to see next. You can choose anything and we'll make it happen, but please share my videos with your friends so that I can get to 25,000 and start something else because I know you are very bored of hematology and oncology. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. Medicosis Perfectionalis.